Hey guys, Miss Bass, and today I wanted to talk to you about an elementary version of how to work on golf skills. Now, I didn't say the game of golf, but your golfing skills. So there's three skills that I'm going to work with with my kindergarten and my first graders. So if you notice, my friends have noodles. That way, everybody's safe, but you get the practice of that striking skill. So our first skill we're going to talk about is putting. So two hands on the noodle. Now you can tell I have one friend that is right-handed and one friend that's gonna be left-handed for us to show you that they do face both ways and you get to talk about your dominant hand is further away. Now, if you notice, they're not facing their targets with their toes or their chest. When you do this, it is what we call side orientation. So your shoulder faces your target. So putting, you go toe to toe. Very nice, putting, keep doing it a few more times, practice. Now, normally I show my students and we practice without equipment before we pick up our equipment. Okay, then our second one is driving. So take your noodle, we're gonna go shoulder all the way down and around to the other shoulder. Very nice. And just for fun, if you wanna add in another one, a different one that they don't get to do very often, we're actually gonna go into croquet. So this time guys, face your target with your toes and your chest. That's right, still two hands, and you're gonna go between your feet, back and forth. Croquet again, back and forth. Very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about a game that we use to keep the students interested and going. Yeah, y'all go get a ball real quick. So they keep some interest in going, and besides just practicing the skill standing there, they get to practice it in a game type situation. So I think that I got this game from my friend Ben Perillo and you know modified throughout the years but as you can tell we have hula hoops on the ground and then i have little just for fun little beanbag animals thank you gopher that we use in them and for fun because i love everything that matches my animals match my hula hoops so the goal of this game is to practice our skills and to make it into the target the hole the hula hoop and stay and if it does go in and stay you get to take an animal back with you now if you look we have three animals in every single hula hoop and then when you get three watch what you get to happen so guys we're we're considered kindergarten now we're pretty close to our target so set the ball on the ground get your side orientation so feet about shoulder width apart ball in the middle but make that triangle between the ball and your two feet very nice okay and we're gonna start out with putting so show me putting they're gonna putt. They're gonna see if they can make it in there. If not, if not, that's okay. Go get your ball, bring it back, and try again. Very nice, guys. So I have probably six, six, and five, 12, 17 hula hoops out, and every single one of them have animals in them. Now you can keep going, guys. Keep going. Yeah. If you make it in a hula hoop and your ball stays, you get to pick up an animal, and like they did, awesome job. They take it back with them, but they didn't put it right at their feet. They kind of scooted it back so that they have space. I absolutely love it, okay? And they keep going over and over and over. This game is extremely independent. It's that constructed chaos that once they get started, they keep going and going and going, okay? So normally, when you change rounds, you'll have them go put their animals back, but we're gonna just keep going to show you guys how it goes. So guys, this time, let's transition to driving, but because you're first graders, I want you to step back to the black line. So our first graders have stepped back to the black line. They still have their animals. They're setting the ball on the line. Very nice. So driving, we're gonna go shoulder to shoulder. Love how we have our left option and our right-handed option. Very nice, ready when you guys are. Love how they took a couple of practice swings. <laughs> and this one, they are gonna naturally hit it a little bit harder, which is okay. But again, that's where you have to remind them you want it to go in and stay. So they're really gonna have to control their muscles. They're definitely gonna go get their ball and bring it back. Now, I do putting and croquet with kindergarten, and I, if we can get to it, we do driving with first grade only, and, and with the foam balls and everything. All right, good job, guys. So if you'll get them, and let's transition to the croquet. <laughs> I love it. I'm very color coordinated in all the games that I play. I try to match as best I can to teach the students that organization 
and that way they can help me pick up equipment, organize it, and put it back on their own. And that's teaching that equipment responsibility. So we're back to kindergarten and croquet. Okay, do so you see how that progression can go from distance to types of swings to how many hula hoops you put out? There's so many different variations. But now we're facing our targets with our toes and our chest. We have two hands and we're gonna go back and forth. Again, can you see the difference in those skills? Very nice. Remember, if you make it, get a bean, a little animal, take it back with you. Very nice. So I see we have we have one friend that has two animals. We keep going. Good job. We're trying to get to three. And all right, so you keep playing. And to keep that constructive chaos going, when you get three animals, you get to pick them up and put them back. And the other reason that we wanna make sure that they match because the students know exactly where they go. They put them back, they go back to their starting line, and they continue playing. I love it. It's just so much fun. Okay, so in this game, in this day, our magic number could be three. Could you take that number up? You must get five before you can put them back. Yes. Okay, so those progressions are distance away, the type of strokes, how many animals they get before they switch, how many hula hoops you have out. This is a game that can keep going and going and going. So our golfing skills of putting and driving, and for another type of striking with an implement, we added some croquet. So thank you guys, hope you have fun.